What's up guys, Mr. Allen C, and today I'm going to show you how to change the door handle in a Ford Fusion. Mine's a 2006, but this will work for a number of years of Ford Fusions. I'm going to show you exactly how. Let's go take a look. So right here, and mine looks a little different because I already tore some stuff out. So, first thing I did, <clears throat> here's the new door handle piece that I'm going to install. First thing I did was... I removed this piece that was underneath this door handle here. Uh, what you need to do is pry this part open right there, and there'll be a screw under there that you take out. You'll then pull it out a little, and this will pop out. This cord will pop out of here, and you get that, you achieve that by pushing this down and pulling. Next step you'll want to do is this part here. So you'll have this console that's sitting inside here, and there'll be a screw right down there. Uh, you'll want to pull that out. You'll be able to wiggle this loose, and this will have three cords. It'll have a green one on the end, a blue one in the middle, and a gray one on the other end. Those pull out of these spots here. You use the same method. You push in the plastic to release it from the console. We'll set that aside as well. So once you got those out of the way, you're going to want to remove two screws down here. So let's take a look where they are. There's one right here, which I've removed. And there's one more up here that I've removed. So once you've removed that, that, this, and that, we're ready to pry this off. I've never done it before, but we're going to do it right now. So like I said, we got this whole bottom part loose, but now we gotta get the top part off. I guess we need to wiggle it. There we go, there's one more up here. I had to come loose. There we go. We've successfully removed the door. Oh. Pretty scary when you've never done it before. But now we have, and here's what's inside the door. This whole, discombobulated mess of stuff. But right here's what we need, the door handle, right? Then when we put the door back on, we wanna make sure these go in the right slots so we have access to those power cords. So we got this open. What we wanna to do is remove this metal bead from this old door handle piece. I'm pretty impressed with ourselves so far um, for this being our first time. So let's go ahead. And we will try to get that moved. Yeah, it was definitely broke. So, uh, this here's the old mechanism right here. I did remove this. There was originally a bolt holding it on right there, so we removed that prior. Here's the old broken mechanism. Garbage. And here's what I pulled out of it. You need this to attach the new mechanism to. So the new mechanism's right over here. Shiny and new, fresh off of Amazon.com. And I'll put a link to Amazon where you can get this car part really cheap. I think mine was 20 bucks. Brand new and shiny. All right, so not only will I have a working door handle, it's gonna be new and chromed out. Looks good, let's go ahead and figure out how we get that mechanism on there. And it's in there, it was that easy. It was that quick and easy. Then we wanna slide. Yeah, let's come here, you guys need to see this. So we stuck this mechanism in there and then this has like a groove on it. You gotta slide that in here. Right in place, hold on. There, see where that fit in there real nice? 
And that's going to hold it in place, so that's perfect. Now when we mount it, that won't come off. So I'm going to mount that now. Snap that in there even further in, so now it's holding in good. I'm trying to remember where this was mounted. I'm sure we'll remember here pretty soon. <laughs> First time doing it, guys. Okay. I should also figure out what came out. One of these came out for me. I wonder if that was, I see something like that right there. I wonder if that was right there. Yeah, that popped back in. I'm going to assume that's where that came from. And, let's see. Okay, so these were actually attached to the door right there and there. So I can pull that back out if I can get it. And stick it back in here like that one is. Let me grab the pliers. Or a needle nose will work, I guess. simple stuff when you take the time to do it yourself. At least it seems fairly simple so far. But these, these are pretty flush. This one looks like it's hovering a little bit above. I don't want that. Let's see. Okay, I think we're good to go back in place. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to find a good spot for this camera. It's not the best. I don't really have the best spot for the camera right now. Guess that'll have to do. Got it. Jam that right in there. So it'll stick nice. This is pretty, pretty simple stuff when you take the time to do it yourself. At least it seems fairly simple so far. But these, these are pretty flush. This one looks like it's hovering a little bit above. I don't want that. So, I'm sticking these through where they came out of, trying to at least. that much easier just to reattach it. We'll see in a minute. I 
look at that. It's already halfway on. That's great. Now, I didn't line this up with anything yet. We also need to remount this door. Guys, for checking out the video, please do like it, subscribe, turn on notifications, and comment. Most of all, please like the video so others can find it and get help installing their Ford Fusion door handles. Bye-bye.